This is it. This is me leaving Capitol Hill right before the two week tour. Hello, I'm Peter, Robbie's dad, and I'm going to take him to the point of departure, Pioneer Square. All right, we're going to Pioneer Square. We're going to Pioneer Square? <laughs> Let's burn some sage. Yeah, we're gonna burn stage to bless ourselves. With some sweet grass. And hopefully I can, maybe I need to find a selfie stick. Yeah, I think they have them everywhere. Walmart. Here's Mike loading up Jack's minivan, Jack's mom's minivan. Jeanette's? I don't know. Hey, loading up. This is me taping. Robbie taping me. Yeah, I have a color spot feature on though. Oh. Like, check, check it out, film me. Here's Robbie. Yeah, I'm gonna take the front seat. Okay. You're at the front, that's my apartment next to the fall place. Robbie. You can click the top button. Here's Jack Ballard, he's starting the car, we're leaving. That's a great noise. 3.45 p.m. Uh, Leavenworth is pretty cool, looks like out of a Disney book. Yeah, Disney's tight. Yeah, you know how many books Disney's put out. You know, how many books did Disney put out? <laughs> Leavenworth they one, Leavenworth two. For the books. I bet they put out a book. They had to put out a book. It's Disney. Yeah, fuck that. Oh, fuck. Sure. So we just that. got in, um, sure, is this Nolan's that. car? This is Nolan's. This is Nolan's car. So we're driving back tonight. Well, my we'll president didn't want to be involved. We're here. Sound like I'm 6'2. Are you good? 215 <laughs> pounds. My dad's son. Uh, I'm tossing uh, uh, huh? Pull down the windows, dude. hanging out with his girlfriend still and uh, Joey Cruz and Nolan Culver went back to Seattle last night because uh, they're dumb actually they're just free birds I think that's what Joey said he likes to have his freedom um, my mom hosted us Elliot Rose dropped from the tour, so he's not here. So we have a, a seven-seater van with three people. And here are the hills of Eastern Washington. Huh? Are we in Oregon? Yeah. Huh? That's Washington over there. Oh wow. Well. That's Washington. This is Oregon. All right, we just got to Portland and we're going to Kelly's Olympian open mic at 4 p.m. But it's only 1 p.m. right now. Yeah, we're gonna get some food. I'm looking like a doofus. So we just got to Kelly's Olympian and Jack Ballard's gambling as per usual. We're here three hours early, but they just, Mike and Jack and me went, just wanted to pee in the restroom. Oh, you did. Yeah, I put in 20 minutes. What? Wait, you made $60? Yeah. Yep, we're out here in Portland. Hans Kim isn't here because he's with Stephanie Flynn. Here we are in Portland. Hans Kim isn't here. I actually, I actually uh, left the party to get myself a 12 ounce iced almond milk latte with vanilla from Stumptown, just like Seattle. Hey, uh, I'm Brody Kelly from Dry Cleaner City. That's are Brody you ready? Kelly from Dry Cleaner City. 
Get it, guys. We're here in Portland Enjoy. with Brody, and uh, Mike just shook Brody's hand. Oh, is this for like the DVD? Yeah, this is gonna be a free DVD. <laughs> Chris Katami, Chris Katami, like Chris Katami, Chris, Chris like Katami. <laughs> Hey, you smiled at Chris Hotomy with a frack yeah, on me. That's the Peace third out. different way I've heard you pronounce it. It is your own Chris, last name. he's uh, it's the Katami. host of no, it's not. Uh, yeah. it right. It's either Katami, Kotomi, or. No, wait, wait, stop. I think he just learned. No, stop. To... I've never pronounced it with the K. Look, there's two ways to pronounce I've it. I've never pronounced it. There's a whole guy. Kotomi. It's Kotomi. <laughs> I've only pronounced it Kotomi. I've only. Other people uh, pronounce it Kotomi, and I accept that. <laughs> That was good. That was a moment. You got. Or is this recording or are we just. Yeah, this is recording. Okay, that was Hush Harris. Hey, what's up? Thanks, Kyle. I like that you didn't try to do the thing where people list every single. They're like, the host of. He does more than three shows, but less than six. <laughs> Very funny. Hi, dudes. Um, hi, Chris's parents. So. Hey, I gotta say that. You've really grown on me recently. You know, I used to think Thanks, you were man. annoying and stupid and dumb, but now I don't think that anymore. Cool. Hi, I'm Ben Harkins. Welcome to Curious Comedy Theater in Portland, Oregon. Could you, could you film my set though? That'd be really cool. This about to be interesting, man. Curious Comedy. Is there a line in here? I don't think so. Carol? We're here in uh, outside Curious Comedy Theater with the new Matra, Krishna Vanu. He's an original bohemian, works at a pizza shop. His glasses are okay. Big shot, we'll get Hans in there. Portland, Oregon, <clears throat> Washington's Mexico. <clears throat> Hans Kim still <clears throat> isn't here. He's right there. That's true. It's an ongoing joke. Yeah. I like that line. Oregon, Seattle's Mexico, Washington's Mexico. Yeah. Are you going to say that on stage? No. Then I'll, just, I'll say it. I'll say it after you. You'll say it after me? Here we are at Curious Comedy with Hans Kim. I'm going to steal that line, Robbie. Portland's Mexico. Portland's Mexico. I'm Portland's Mexico. Hans Kim. Hans Kim's still not here. It's super good. Mm. We got coconut cookie, mandrake, living stones. You have to keep the living stones <laughs> or you die. <laughs> yeah, mandrake. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, folks. 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 la la pa 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 ta 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 ga. La 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 ta 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 ga. La 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 ta 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 ga ga pa 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 ta 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 da ra 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 pa 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 ga ga ga. All right, we're 
here in Grants Pass cleaning out the van. We're at a Walmart. Hans Kim is finally with us. We're gonna go buy some water. I drove here from Eugene. We slept in a rest stop in the van. <laughs> hey Hans, do you have anything to say? A lot big. Sorry. I, try, I can't have energy. I'm scared. Please don't point the camera at me. Sure, it's got a lot of cat on it. I think it's actually a blanket, a fuzzy blanket. Mm. It could be cat too, it probably is cat. I like your shirt. It's prime time. You wanna take it? Yeah. Take some video of it. Prime numbers and shit. You look like the Unabomber. Seems good. It's close to LA, so it might not be too bad. Okay. Can you just film us talking about that? Okay. So what do you think about this trip that we're on? Yeah, we should look forward to it. What do you think is gonna be the best it part of it? It is amazing. Mike Mazzalotti is the greatest. Who's that? Who's Mike? Is it that guy? The producer slash comedian. <laughs> Alright, we're at a rest stop about two hours from Sacramento. Alright, we just landed in Sacramento driving. We got a hotel room at the Crown Plaza. And we're gonna... We're gonna shower or do something and get to the club in two hours. And we have a pool. Here we go, we just drove from the Crown Plaza, Plaza Hotel in Sacramento and we're at the comedy spot. Mike just did his promo for his dumb little show thing he does. 100 sets, YouTube. 100 sets, YouTube it. Here's Hans Kim, he's coming out. He found his, uh, found his shoes. Yeah, it's very important. They were right where the cooler is, under the seat. There, you hear that? They're right near the cooler where it was, under the seat. Yep, typical. What is this, Monday? Typical Monday open mic at, next to Mr. Pickles. Daniel O'Connell used to work at Mr. Pickles. Now he doesn't. Yeah, now it's just group photos in front of Mr. Pickles. Hey, I gotta take a screenshot of that shit. This is a picture Mike Mazzalotti took of uh, us out in front of Mr. Pickles. It's fairly distinguishable. I like how we were having a moment there and then you decided to pull out your camera and ruin it. This is Hans's bite plate. Looks like it has blood all over it. <laughs> no way. <laughs> yeah, because I have a red filter. That one's alright. That's like it is in Seattle, you know what I mean? Like it's, you know, it's, people don't really, a lot of times even think stand-up is coming and then you just get up on stage and, you know, they're just drinking a beer in a place. And then they're like, all right, now I'm going to do stand-up. you got to pay attention to me. Let's... <laughs> this is the kind that we're in uh, San Francisco. Hans Kim found his Chuck Taylors. There's all these nerd-type rocks, psychedelic rocks, to go in my psychedelic film of psychedelic South Korean comedians on psychedelics with me. Because I'm a loser, and no one cares about me. We're in San Francisco. <laughs> we slept in the car last night in a parking lot for a hotel. I don't think Mike's left the car yet. No. Hans and I and Jack went to go to off... No. Yeah, well, so we're here in uh, Castle Rock, Pennsylvania. We have uh, cake pops from Starbucks, and we got Wi-Fi passwords. You know? <laughs> I'm hitting my head. We're all doing all kinds of things. It's so crazy. It's so crazy in this place. I've never been here before. No, I think I've never bit that. my tongue until now. I just bit my tongue. We're gonna we're gonna get paid eight thousand dollars a piece tonight to perform in front of a crowd of fifteen people. 
They're all naked Easter bunnies. Here we are at the beach in Santa Cruz. Hans is eating the watermelon that's made out of Nolan's chest. What are you gonna do? I want to play volleyball, man. I want to play volleyball. I want to play, uh, I want to skateboard around. Hey, Robbie, we're trying Drink some slinks. He's okay. He's not, at least he's not saying anything to interrupt it. He's allowing me to speak freely. Hans is eating some honeydew melon. Is that what it's called? Is that like the scientific name? Honeydew is something else. Honeydew is some other fruit. Are you eating some cantaloupe? Doing some stand up. I know you guys are pumped about that. <laughs> <laughs> I'm married. Let's get to talking about me. I'm a married. Nothing crazy, just regular shit. Like the other day, I'm from Seattle, so the other day I had a dream that I was walking on a pier in Seattle. Jumped straight in the air, I was yelling to the shore, like, Someone, please have a bag of rice ready, I think I can save this! Siri was like, hello, Lord Falcon. It's like, oh, thank God. <laughs> I woke up watching Disney movies. Like, it was my favorite shit as a kid growing up, but 101 Dalmatians was like my favorite movie. And, uh, people think I dress up to do comedy. Uh, this is not the case. Uh, I dress up because, uh, growing up I used to be really fat. And coffee's like, fuck your rules. <laughs> it's badass. Coffee is real badass, and it's getting faster too. Like I won't even be drinking coffee anymore. I'll just be pouring it, and I already got to take a shit. <laughs> it's by far my favorite drink. All right, we're here in Burbank, about to go to Flappers Open Mic. Mike went to have lunch with his sister and mom over yeah, somewhere we're else. Coffee. We're gonna go to the Coffee Bean to get some coffee. He made stuff for global warming stuff. Yeah, there's a political agenda behind there's it. There's no doubt. Like it's all changing. You know, and here's, and then there were like thousands of people have died in the Middle East with heat, which I just yeah. wonder if maybe that's always been true. You know, it's all I never it's, it's I super hot trust, there. I can't trust any news anymore, man. It's the Sahara Desert. I mean, you know, that's around there. It's super that, hot. That Kinnison joke's great, where he talks about like they're always trying to get me to send money so they can have food. He's like, oh, instead we just try to watch U-Haul trucks and put all in it. Go out of the desert. <laughs> <laughs> Most guys my age do not want to be married. A buddy of mine always feels free to let me know what he thinks. Stolen, why would you do that, dude? You're young. You know, you're you're in your prime, man. And I, I defend myself. I say, look, when you find that special person, somebody that makes life brighter and happier and more fulfilling, when you find somebody like that, you don't just wait around. You know what I mean? You go for it. And I hope that someday I too will find that person, but in the meantime, I have my wife, and we're making it work. <laughs> yeah, he had to beat me. Well, if it'll make you feel better, you can beat me later. Hello, my name is Hans Kim, and yes, that is a name. <laughs> no, I don't, it's hard for me to show kindness. Um, I, it's, uh, I think... <laughs> I, I think that uh, the opposite of bulimia would be trying to gain weight by shoving poop up your butthole. Uh, I don't know. You know, I, you know, I really think I think Jesus was a homosexual. I really love everyone. I love everything. The world is perfect, man. The world is fucking absolutely fucking perfect. Extremely fucking perfect. So fucking perfect. Oh my god, it's fucking perfect. Doesn't that feel a lot better than what you had to say? A lot of people come to me asking questions in Spanish. Yeah, I just got my Jamba juice, uh, my sunglasses on my neck, like a real LA guy. Yeah, Robbie shoot, just got his shoot, Jamba shoot, juice and his shoot, uh, glasses on. Shoot, shoot. Like a real LA guy. I got cow, kale. So, uh, I'm recording Robbie recording this documentary. You guys are going to see it. I got point. kale smoothie. He's drinking a kale smoothie. This is Mike with 100 sets. Hey, right there. Pretty cool. I think it's funny that Tanner is a white person today. What up? This is uh, Robbie's camera. My name yeah. is Kenny. This is the eighth day. This is Rab. 
He's the host of this open mic at the Coffee Ground Groundworks Coffee Shop. Groundwork Coffee every Saturday, seven to nine thirty. Coenga and Sunset. We're in Hollywood. Yeah. This is the crossroads of uh, crazy right here. You got Amoeba, CNN, Jack in the Box. It gets weird over here. It gets wonky as fuck. All right, we're here. Robbie here. I'm driving us from uh, from San Diego back to Los Angeles. We're going to find Joey Cruz's car car, his car, so he can pick up his wife tomorrow morning. And then he and Nolan are officially done with us. Okay, okay. I was, so I went to Porto's with Mike Mazzalotti. This is day 10. Jack Ballard, Hans Kim, me and Hans sat at a table. Okay, 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 okay. So I got a, a, a potato thing with spicy pepper, cheese sauce in it. I got a ground chicken, strawberry shaped thing. I got this plantain filled with black beans. And I got a, a beef meat pie thing, mostly puff pastry. Then I got a Milanaza spicy chicken sandwich that was the deep fried chicken. Deep fried chicken with like smashed avocado and mozzarella and I got a large mango smoothie. The most I've ever eaten today. It was good. I'm, I am, I'm, I'm so full right now. kill yourself, I think the first thing you should do is go try to rob a bank first. Because most of our problems are caused by money. So if you go rob a bank and get away with it, now you're rich, I doubt you're gonna to wanna to kill yourself. But then if you get caught during the bank robbery, then you can just kill yourself if so you're going to anyway. So at least you have a chance of becoming rich out of it. I'm just saying, I think more people should try bank robberies instead of just killing themselves right off the bat. It's good to be here. I am Asian right now. Right now. I'm Asian, or as I'm known in this country, I'm Chinese. I'm from a province in China called South Korea. Day 13, Sam Sosmos joins us for a tour. We're 200 miles plus for uh, north of... We're 200 miles. Hey, Sams. Yeah. I am in Sparks, Nevada. This is one of our last stops on our two week comedy tour. I'm in Sparks, Nevada. We're here in Reno, Nevada. Actually, it's Sparks, Nevada, which is just a few moments away from Reno. Now I have a pretty good perspective on what Reno 911 was all about, because I'm in the place that it was based in and probably filmed. I mean, Thomas Lennon is like a genius, kind of like David Wayne. I'm an inside person. I'm kind of an inside kind of guy. I can tell you how to get inside of a celery stalk intriguingly leopard-like. I could let you know a thing or two that you would want to know about anything you'd like to know. So just call 555-206-2753 because that's 555-276-4747. Now if you want to get into a pool without tax, then call me at 555-271777 with extension 452 and just have your identification cards ready you might have seen me on previous videos that I've recorded of myself, but that's not important right now. What's important right now is that you have a pair of socks on. If you don't, then you probably don't have socks on, which means you probably have either bare feet or you have some kind of sandal product or foot product, like a shoe. You know what a shoe is? It kind of goes around your foot. But what you need to know that's important is nothing, because nothing's really that important. The real thing that you need to know about anything is everything. Because if you don't know everything, then you won't know anything. 
and that's nothing. In today's world, you want to call this number. It's on the bottom of the screen, right here. Also, have your identification cards ready, because if you're not ready with or without socks at all times, you might not make it in today's world. Because if you don't like fish eyes, you might not make it in today's world. But if today's world's not about fish eyes, then you're not making it in today's world. If I'm not a copy machine, then I'm not nothing. And if I'm not anything, then I'm everything at all, at all times. If you don't believe that, then I might be in some kind of masonry guild. If you don't think I'm in a guild, I might be in a cult. But just don't believe me, just look up cult.lettuce.edu slash eating nom nom nom. And if you don't like nom noms, then you won't like nothing. So I'm gone now. I'm gonna get out of here pretty soon, but if I don't get out of here pretty soon, then I'm gonna get out of here fairly soon. And if you don't believe me, then you don't have American rights. And if you don't have American rights, then I'm not Robbie Schrader. And if I'm not Robbie Schrader, I might be Trebor Fredrickson. And if I'm not Fredrickson Trebor, then you are Robbie Schrader. You're Robbie Schrader, but that's not important because Robbie Schrader isn't important. Then I am a lizard and you are a weasel. And wizards and weasels do not get in purpose with- My dude Ryan, he's a genius, dog. Oh. My dude Ryan, he's a fucking genius, man. He's a genius, dog. He's a fucking genius. Mike, you heard about my dude Ryan? Bro. You wanna Whoa. hear something? Dude's a genius. Dude's a genius. Yeah. My dude Ryan, he's a genius. Woo.